Joe Campbell here with a real quick uh, just look at the polar furnace and the nozzle design and how that works. So, and here's the nozzle on a polar G series gasification stove. Um, down to the left and down to the right there, you can see where the air, the secondary air down here, enters the um, basically the nozzle for the secondary burn. And above that, we have these metal plates here that are gonna help protect that refractory stone and guide that air basically directly into that nozzle for a real clean, efficient burn. Um, after that secondary air is being pulled with the vacuum, um, don't know if you can see that or not, pulled with the vacuum down into the vortex chamber um, to melt with a real nice smooth transition. So you have all that hot gas, that secondary burn gas, that uh, gasification basically comes down right through there gets hit with that secondary air, gets a real good clean hot burn. And then when it gets done with that clean hot burn, it enters the Vortec chamber. The Vortec chamber is uh, one of the key parts of this boiler. Um, there's a secondary door or the door, uh, it's kind of an auxiliary door on a polar, which I find really nice below the firebox door. Sorry to get off top, I just wanna point out real quick. It makes it really easy to clean out that boiler, that firebox. Um, anyways, working down here to the vortex chamber. Here's the vortex chamber. So when the gas comes down here into the vortex chamber, it's entered in that back left corner back there, and it's not hitting anything abrupt or flat or anything. It's going in a nice smooth circle, a real nice transition all the way around there. So you're not just blasting a flat surface with all that secondary burnt gas. Um, it's a real smooth, clean transition. So you're not, you're not frying up refractory, you're not burning up nozzles. It's designed in such a way that these things are going to last. Um, you can see it, this thing's been used for four years. It doesn't show much sign of wear at all. I wouldn't expect uh, to have to replace anything in here for a long time yet. Um, one thing to note about these two is the amount of refractory stone in that vortex chamber. It is very thick and very deep. I know some of the other boilers, the vortex chamber is not near as thick, it's not near as heavy. Um, they are a little bit fragile. I've actually seen the back blow out of one. Um, these are not made that way. We have real good smooth air in, smooth air through the Vortex chamber, nice transitions, just a real clean burn, efficient design. We're not having to replace parts. Overall, great stove. Highly recommend it to anyone looking. Thanks for your guys' time.